Hi, my name is Cassandra Newman and I am reading for Varia. You know that flunky of mama's? He came back with us. I thought I saw him, the lazy good for nothing. So what happened? Did you get the interest paid? With what? Oh no, my God, my God. The place goes up for sale in August. Oh my God. Mo! Oh, that man. I wish I could just punch him in the face. Marya, did he propose yet? But you know he loves you. Why don't the two of you just sit down and be honest with each other? What are you waiting for? I don't think anything will ever come of it. He's always so busy. He never has any time for me. He just isn't interested. It's hard for me when I look at him, but I don't care anymore. Everybody talks about when we're getting married. People even congratulate me, but it's nothing. I mean, it's all just a dream. Oh, you've got a new pin. I a know. little bee. I know, <laughs> Mama bought it for me. You know what? In Paris, I went for a ride in a balloon. <laughs> my darling, you're back. My angels come home. You know, dear, I spend the live long day trying to keep this house going, and all I do is dream. I want to see you married off to somebody rich. Then I can rest easy. And I think I'll go away by myself. Maybe live in a convent or just go traveling. Kiev, Moscow, spend all my time visiting churches. I'll just start walking and go and go and go. That would be heaven. Listen to the birds in the orchard. What time is it? It must be almost three. You should get some sleep, darling. Yes, that would be heaven. Sometimes I even laugh. Are you still here? I thought I told you to go home. Dunyasha, get back in the kitchen. Really, you have no consideration. You come in here, start playing billiards, you break one of our cues, and now you hang around in here as if we'd invited you. Excuse my expressivity, but you have no right to penalize me. I am not penalizing you, I am telling you. All you do around here is wander about and bump into the furniture. You're supposed to be working for us, and all you do around here is nothing. I don't know why we hired you in the first place. Whether I work or not, or wander around or not, or play billiards or not, is none of your business. You do not have the know-it-all to make my estimation. How dare you talk to me like that? How dare you? What do you mean I don't have the know-it-all? I want you to get yourself out of here right this minute. Right this minute. I wish you wouldn't use that language like that. It is get out of here right this minute. Out. Double trouble. I never want to see hide or hair of you again. I don't want to lay eyes on you ever again. I'm going to call the police on you. Oh, you back for more? Come on. Oh, no. Come on, come on, I'll show you. All right, all right, you asked for it. <laughs> That's funny, I can't find them. Well, what are you looking for? I packed them myself and now I don't remember where. What, uh, where are you off to, Varya? Me? I'm going to work for the Ragolins. I've talked to them about it already. They need a new housekeeper and look after things, you know? All the way over there? That's 50 miles away. Well, looks like this is the end of things around here. <sighs> Where are they? I, or maybe I packed them in the trunk. You're right. This is the end of things around here. The end of one life. And I'm going to, to Harkov. Taking the same train, actually. I've got a million things waiting for me. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving Yepi, though, 
I hired him to take charge here. You hired who? Well, last year this time it was snowing already, remember? Mm -hmm. Today it's still sunny. A little chilly though. Nice day. It was freezing this morning. Must have been in the 30s. I didn't notice. Anyway, the thermometer's broken.